Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and another sort of high queue. The inter high preliminaries have finally begun. I'm quite excited that this is now um, that we're finally here. Um, from what many of you have said, this is where things really start to ramp up um, when we get into the um, preliminaries. Uh, last episode was a bit of a you know just our team kind of getting in the right mindset for for the inter high preliminaries. We we were reintroduced to Data Tech. We've met them through flashbacks in the past, but this is the first time we've actually met them, met them. And, um, you know, I, I don't know if whether it was their captain or not, but um, I mean, the very tall guy with the white hair who kind of determined, you know, kind of challenged, um, challenged Asahi. And and to my surprise, pleasantly, of course, Asahi actually stood his ground, all beads momentarily, briefly, you know, and then he fell apart completely afterwards. It was really hilarious to watch, but, um, Briefly, he stood his ground, and you know, it's an important match for all three of the third years on the team, and for him specifically because they lost to Data Tech um, so long ago. But uh, this this is their moment. This is their moment. I, I think you know, we. I think Sejo is in the same bracket as them as well. So I I don't know, it's gonna be tough. I imagine that. We are gonna face one of these two teams. Maybe they'll play against each other. Maybe I, I don't remember how the bracket was set up initially. Whether Sejo will face Data Tech before they face us, or we will face um, one of them before you know they face the other. Whatever the case might be. But um, but as the coach said, as on the ball, you know the next matchup. You know focus on what comes next, and the next matchup is um, focus on what's before you, and the next matchup is. Um, against one of Daichi's uh, middle school mates and his team, I don't recall the team's name, but um, yeah, it, from what they've they've said so far, they don't appear to be a very well-known school, but I, I don't think it's a good idea to, you know, underplay anyone in this tournament. As the coach rightfully said, you know, everyone is there to win. So yeah, uh, episode 16, let's check it out. All right, we're just jumping into it. I actually thought it would have been some reuniting Daichi with his teammate first before we got into the actual match, but I guess not. That's a smart move. The, the quick is a bit unreliable in my mind, you know, and it's better that they save that one up. Yeah, the receivings are still awful. I, I mean, at the end of the day, we just have to score more points than we actually lose. Which they seem to be doing, so it's good. That's that shit for you. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the first thing you need to believe that, that you can win. You need to have, have the confidence and determination first. I mean, you do have to put in the work and the practice as well, so. But their attitude doesn't seem to have changed. And it, I mean, it's a different school now. Well, he's, his attitude hasn't changed. Wow, and you're actually relieved that you lost. That just means that your your hearts and minds weren't really in it to begin with. What? That's good. He's actually he's working for it now. Same attitude. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> but he's right though, I mean... Is he the captain? No, no, they showed us the captain last, last episode. He's not the captain. Alright, Kagyama. Three, four. It's 
At least they've got the they've got the right mindset now, I suppose. And her team is suffering from the same thing. That's right. The game's not over until the last ball touches the court. It's because she actually put in the training, but now's not the time. Come on, check it off. Get the next one. Okay, we only need one more point. Yeah, but you guys gotta work for the next. And the next after that, and after that. Come on. They're doing a good job receiving though. Alright. Good job guys, good job. <laughs> yeah, even though they only need one point, they're still giving it their all. They're treating you guys as equals, so step up. They didn't do too badly though, 14, 14, 25. If they actually put in the work, it would have been so much better. Hungry. And sometimes I forget, this is his first you know, official match and winning in an official capacity. So, you know, he's gotta be overjoyed. Guess to see on the court. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that would have been a disservice to their opponents to not give it their all. Alright, so they're facing Dasitet next. Yeah, just putting on a face for the, for the team. Because unlike them, she actually did practice. But if their entire team isn't putting in the work, it's not enough. It's a team sport. <laughs> yeah, no one likes to lose. But it's not the end. It's not the end, guys. If only. That's when the regret starts to sink in. If only I had done this, if only I had done that. In the moment, you don't realize it, but you know, you have to give 100%, 150% the first time and the first go, the first time around. Win for the underdogs. You guys are the only ones left. Good dashi. Tens of thousands? Is that many? Is volleyball that huge in Japan? All the teams that got knocked out. It's heartbreaking. I want to say there'll always be next year, but I know some of them are probably third year, so we'll get another chance. But. Gotta keep moving. Are we gonna get to see Dasitex match? That would be sweet. Guess not. Ah, they're talking about Hinata. <laughs> Don't let it get to your head. 
ってたっていいじゃんか俺あんなふうに言われたことないし<笑>でクイズのとにかくあのちっこい十番がすげえ的な空気を作るそれが大きくなればなるほど、yeah, that's just what they need. 光れば光るほど相手のブロックは目がくらむ the decoy, the better it is for them offensively. I mean, Sugawara isn't getting to play then. I, I, I mean, they could have used Sugawara for this first match, I think. You know, because they didn't need a quick in this match. At least I don't think they would. They didn't use it at all. I can see them needing it for the iron wall to get around the blocks, but they could have used Sugawara in this match. And it's, it's really sad that he doesn't get to, you know, to be the one to help Asahi get past the block too. Since he was a part of the original team that lost. But Sugawara is selfless, selfless as usual. Just wants what's best for Asahi, you know? <laughs> what is this guy's name? He hasn't said a word since we've met him. Just stares and, and points. Where, where are our cheers and where are our cheerleaders and fans? Let's go, let's go, Date go, let's go. Yeah. But I mean, they can use that experience though. I mean, they fought against that step before, so they, they, in a way, know what to expect. <laughs> the name's awesome. What are you talking about? Yeah, as long as Nishinoya is there, that, that she, that, I mean, Asahi, he won't run away. He won't run away from anything. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> Kyoko is unimpressed. Yeah. Nishi doesn't get as much, you know, attention as he should. Alright, there we go. Episode 6 of High Q. Our match with Darren Wall is finally about to begin. Um, but th this was a very interesting and different episode. Um, you know, it's addressed you know the overall overarching theme appears to have been loss you know and how to deal with loss and regret you know and i think we can all relate one way or another i'm not a sports guy i don't, I don't play sports that much um or at all really i did in high school of course but um i mean even if it's not sports i think those academically people can relate to it nonetheless i'm sure Everyone has found himself in a position where, okay, we're studying, whether it's for an upcoming exam or, or a project that we need to work on. And, you know, the state of mind that you're, you're in is like, okay, I, I think I've covered enough material. I don't need to do, I don't need to cover the rest here because this is what I'm expecting to be there. Um, so why, why, why continue? Why keep going? You know, um, I think I'm good. And you... You procrastinate to some extent and, and you know, you accept that what you've done is good enough. And I think, and, and that's what we see on display here. Um, each of the team, you know, the team that Karasuno faced again, faced off against, they assume that, okay, you know, Karasuno is, is just not going to be that good. So we don't need to give her all, you know, um, this is what, this is what we're expecting. So we don't need to give it a hundred percent. And so, so yeah, it's, it's the same thing. I mean, it translates. This is a lesson not just in sports, but a life lesson as well. And and not just academically, but in the work environment as well, where you know you're, you're whether you're again you're working on some some projects or some deliverable that you need to meet a deadline. And 
you know, it could be better, but you know, you're, you, you you say to yourself, okay, I think I've done enough. Um, and you know, that that's it. And in that moment, you don't recognize it but until, until the very end. And, you know, when you see the result and whether you're coming out of the exam or you're getting feedback from that, that project and, you know, you think to yourself, what could have been different had I done this, had I studied this, um, you know, I could have done so much better had I just given it another hour or, or put in some more time and effort. And, you know, it's so it, it's an important lesson, you know, um, regret and giving it 120, 150% the first time around. That's that's it. You know, giving it your all, giving it 150% the first time. Um, and, and otherwise, you know, you, you'll find yourself with a lot of regrets after. Um, so, and it wasn't even so much that, that the, the female volleyball team captain, for example, I mean, she practiced, you know, but it, it, it's not just about her and you, you recognize back in the conversation she had with Daichi, I think about an episode ago, she said she had trouble getting the team to show up for practice and, and, and all that stuff. But she, as a leader, it's her job to get them to do that. Um, so it, it's not just enough for her to practice on her own because it's a team sport. You're not going to win on your own. So just you as a captain practicing, that's not enough. So she does hold some responsibility there as well. Um, uh, and so, so the entire team is at fault there. And so, I mean, like Daichi, she, she just has to, she has to step up and say, okay, hey, this is what we need to do. And I, I don't know, I think maybe she's a third year as well, given, um, I think she and Daichi were in the same class or something like that. So that might've been her last opportunity to, to get, to, to get that done. But hopefully the other members of the team, you know, um, take that lesson away and, and, and become better for the next, but as a leader, and I'm glad that they highlighted that aspect of Daichi's leadership this episode as well because you saw that he inspired those that weren't even a part of his you know his team you know and, and that's what it means to be a um, to to be a true leader though um it's to it's to inspire others to have that charisma to inspire others who you know even if they're not rooting for you, even if they're not cheering for you, there's something they can take away, you know, something positive that they can take away from your leadership, from, your, your, you know, what you've demonstrated. And, and we see that in Daichi, and he's, you know, he, he's really doing a fantastic job, you know, as the leader of Paris, you know, here. And, and I'm glad to see that that's, that influence is spreading elsewhere. And there are, there are the underdogs, there are the underdogs, and, and I mean, they're, the weight on their shoulders now is to win for all the teams that couldn't, which is a lot, you know, it's a lot. And, and if I'm being honest, I, I don't know that they will make it to nationals here. I think story wise, it makes sense for them to, um, to defeat data tech purely for Asahi's, um, you know, story to kind of close that out. And they could still, you know, he could still beat, get, past the wall and the team loses, but I don't think that'll happen. So I think they will beat that to take, uh, I, I, I'm not sure whether they'll get to the finals. I mean, the coach pointed out earlier that, okay, the receivers are still bad, you know, um, that's not something they can fix overnight. Hinata still can't hit the, the, the quick without his eyes, you know, eyes closed. And you can do a regular quick, which is fine, but even that still has some weaknesses as well. So the team still has a lot of gaps and weaknesses that they still need to work on. I, I so I don't see them getting two nationals, but I'm definitely excited to see their matchup against Data Tech. And hopefully, if they win, um, I think Sage is in the same bracket that, as they are. So that'll be um, that'll definitely be an interesting matchup as well. And one of the things as well, um, I mean, that I was glad to see Okawa. You know, um, his. Other members, other team teammates on Sage were saying, you know, Karsuma didn't need to give it their their all because, you know, they're assured they're they were assured sure and win for against this team. So why why go all out when they could save their energy for for the next team? And and he objected to that, which which I, I'm so glad he did, and it kind of highlighted, um, you know, what I've said about Okawa all along is that you know that one of the reasons why I like him he's he's a bit irritating and he trash talks and 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 you know. Somewhat like uh, like Suki, except he's a bit more direct about it, and 
That's what that's something I detract from Suki because he does it around, behind people's backs and all those things, which I don't particularly love. Um, but um, but Arkawa is more direct about it, and in in his trash talking, he's giving you pointers and criticisms, you know, of how to get better at your game because he wants to play against the best. At least that's how I see him so far. Um, so he objected to them saying, "Yeah, Carson didn't need to give their give their best here." Um, I mean, you'd be doing, you'd be doing the team a great disservice by not going all out, right? Um, I mean, if they're giving their all, you should give your all as well. So um, I'm glad you see he objected to, to his team saying that. Um, but of course, they didn't use the quick, uh, which makes sense because if it, especially if they want to, it it still has its flaws, and they don't want to kind of spotlight that, especially when they're going up against that that attack that same day. Um, the team, if they see the weakness immediately and they can figure out how to get around it, yeah. so it's it's good that they didn't use the quick in this match. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I, I said it before that I felt Sugawara could have been the setter for this match, though. Um, not sure why they didn't do that. I just want to see Sugawara play. I, I, as selfless as he is, um, I want to see him in 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 some matches. At least not maybe not for the entire match, but briefly at this so i didn't think they need Kage, um, kageyama for this match especially since they had no intention of using the quick to begin with um, but that said um i mean that's the tech is up next the iron wall um yeah yeah it's you know hopefully hoping for the best for our team and that tech is going to be tough their their specialty is their specialty is our blocks I'm not sure how well they are offensively, and uh, yeah, it, it, it's a terrible matchup for Carson, you know, to be honest. You know, it's uh, it's the unstoppable force versus the immovable object, right? Um, that attack is basically a shield, a wall. Carson has the attack, but they can't get through. But at the same time, they don't have the defense. It should. That's it. Take have a good offensive, um, have a good offensive player. They don't have their receivers to, to do it. I mean, Nishinoya is good, but and and Dati and Daichi is good. So all of the defense will rest on those two. Yeah. So it, it, so it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be a tough match, and I think Hinata will. Hinata is definitely gonna have to play an important role here. I mean, we knew that going in. That's the whole point of him being a decoy. But it's gonna be more, even more important here. Um, especially if direct attacks don't necessarily work against the iron wall. So, yeah. So it's, it's going to be their time to shine. All right, so, all right, guys, be sure to post down below if you know your thoughts on this episode. Uh, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one.